Hello my dear students, today we are going to start our unit 9 which is called at the market. At the market is at the place that we go in order to, to buy some vegetables and fruits. Lesson 1. Exercise number 1, look, lesson and read. Here we have a market, we have lots of vegetables and fruits, apples, oranges, uh, cucumbers and lots of other mangoes and lots of other fruits and vegetables. Uh, we have, I think, Hani and Hannah, their mother and the uh, seller, the seller. Now, they are going to buy some fruits and vegetables from the market. Here, Hannah is asking her brother, do you like pineapples? Do you like the pineapples? He's saying, yes, I do. Can you see the pineapples is up at the top of the market? It looks like a little uh, 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 a circled plant and it's yellow from the inside. The mother is asking the seller, can I have a pineapple please? She wants something from the seller. She wants to get something from him. So she's asking him in a polite way, can I have a pineapple please? The seller will say, yes, here you are, here you are. She will ask about the price. How much is that? How much money do you want for that? How much is that? He will say, that's 11 pounds. That's 11 pounds. Next slide, we have a note. When we want to buy something, when we want to buy something from the grocery, and the grocery is the place that we find the vegetables and fruits. The grocery is the place where we can find the vegetables and fruits. When we want to buy something from the grocery, we say what? Can I have something please? Can I have an apple please? Can I have bananas please? Can I have a pineapple please? Can I have cucumbers please? Okay, so when I ask to buy something from the grocery, I say what? Can I have, please? Can I have guavas, please? Can I have uh, figs, please? Can I have apples, please? So the grocery man will say what to us? He will say, yes, here you are. Yes, here you are. Here we have a, a, a seller and someone who is buying from him. She's saying what? Can I have six apples, please? To be polite, you can use the word please. Can I have six apples, please? He will say what? Yes, here you are. Again, can I have six apples, please? Yes, here you are. How much is that? How much is that? He will say that's three pounds. That's a three pounds. So when you want to buy something, you will say, can I have please? Can I have six apples please? Can I have seven bananas please? Can I have a pineapple please? He will say what? Yes, here you are. Yes, here you are. To ask about the money or the price, you will say what? How much is that? Again, how much is that? How much is that? It's three pounds. It's five pounds. It's six pounds. Okay. Exercise number two, le look, listen, and say. Please say after me the first picture, banana. It's a banana, banana. Number two, apple, 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 apple. Number three, Orange, 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 orange. Then pineapple, 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 pineapple. Then we have, it, it sounds like Arabic language, it's guava, 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 guava. Then we have date. It's pronounced and written like the date on the board, but this is date. 
date, this brown date. Then we have watermelon, 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 watermelon. Then we have fig, 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 <clears throat> fig. Then we have potato, 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 potato. Then we have carrot, 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 carrot. Then we have mango or mango. Both of them are right. Mango, mango, mango. Then we have cucumber, cucumber, cucumber. Next slide. Exercise number three, ask and answer. We are going to ask about each product we have, each kind of vegetable or fruit. I'm going to ask about how to ask about buying something from those things. Now, the boy here and the seller or the grocery man is answering him. He's saying, can I have six apples, please? The grocery man will say, yes, here you are. What about here, number one? What is this? Can you say it? It's guava. Yes. I will ask, can I have two guavas, please? Can I have two guavas with S at the end of guava? Because it's more than one. I'm going to put S plural. Can I have two guavas, please? Yes. Here you are. How much is that? How much is that? It's, for example, three pounds. Number two, can I have three? What about this? Is it fig? No. I think it's onion. Onion. The onion is kind of vegetable that when we cut it, we cry with tears. This is the onion. Can I have three onions, please? Yes, here you are. How much is that? It's two pounds, for example. Number three, can I have four potatoes, please? Can I have four potatoes, please? Yes, here you are. How much is that? To ask about the price. Number four, can I have six dates, please? This is dates. Can I have six dates, please? Yes, here you are. What about number five? Can I have three figs, please? Can I have three figs, please? Yes, here you are. Number six. Can I have two watermelons, please? Can I have two watermelons, please? Yes, here you are. Next slide. Fruits and vegetables. Look, listen, and complete, then sing. We have words box. The first word is apples, then mangoes, then oranges, then bananas, then figs, then dates. Number one, what is this picture? It's oranges. So oranges, oranges. We will write it two times. Oranges, oranges. Then lovely, lovely, what again? Oranges. Then we have a picture of figs and bananas. So write figs and bananas. Apples and picture of dates. Yes. So oranges, oranges. Lovely, lovely oranges. Figs and bananas. Apples and dates. Again, oranges, oranges. Lovely, lovely oranges. Figs and bananas, apples and dates. Then we have mangoes, mangoes. Lovely, lovely mangoes. Figs again and bananas, apples and dates. Next slide. Exercise number two, look and write. We have words box again we have words 
potatoes, onions, and we said that onion is kind of a vegetable. That when you cut it, you cry in tears. Carrots, pineapple, watermelon, and cucumbers. The first one is already done. What is this? It's a pineapple. Beside it, we have, what is this? It's a watermelon. It's a watermelon. Then we have, what is this? Potatoes. Yes, potatoes. Potatoes. Then we have what? When we cut it, we cry. It's onions. Onions. Then we have beside the onions cucumbers. Cucumbers. And the last one at the bottom is what? Carrots. Carrots. Next slide. We are going to talk about the countable and the uncountable nouns. Now, we said before that the noun is a name. The noun is just a name. A name of something or a name of animal or you know, a name of someone, okay? Now, the countable nouns and the uncountable, and, and the uncountable nouns. The countable nouns means that it's a noun that we can count. Something that I can count. I can count, for example, table. I have one table, two tables, three tables, four tables. I can count them, okay? But the uncountable is something I cannot count in numbers. I cannot give it a number. There is no singular and the plural from it. There is no only one and more than one, okay? Uh, the uncountable like what? Like sugar. Can you count sugar? No, I cannot say one sugar, two sugar, three sugar. Can you count water? No, I cannot count water. I cannot say one water, three water, five water. No, okay? So, the countable nouns is something that I can count. It has singular one and the plural more than one. I can use a or an with only one, an apple, a banana, it means only one banana or only one apple, but, and more than one, I can put a plural for it, apples, bananas, because I can count them with numbers, three bananas, four apples, five cucumbers, okay? A cucumber means only one, an apple means only one, okay? But the uncountable, I cannot use a or an. And I cannot put a plural. There is no singular or plural from it because I cannot count it. I cannot give it number. I cannot say, I have only one rice or one flour or one sugar. So it will be a sugar. Never. Okay? So the, uncount the countable nouns, I can put number. I can use a or an, and I can put s plural. But the uncountable, I can never use articles like a or an. It doesn't have singular or plural form. And I cannot use any number with it. I cannot count flour. It's powder, it's, it's, it's white powder. Can I count it? No. I say one kilogram of flour. Two teaspoons of sugar, spoon that we eat with. Two, two, two spoons of sugar, or one uh, kilogram of sugar, a bottle of water. But I cannot count water or flour or sugar, okay? So here, the countable can be counted. But the uncountable, I cannot count them. I cannot count them. The countable words, like the kites, the dates, the apples, I can count them. I can use number with them. I can use numbers with them. But the uncountable, I cannot put a number with them. <coughs> there can be a singular and a plural form of them. Like what? An apple, three apples. An apple, only one, singular. 
three apples plural, more than one. So there is singular and the plural from it. But in the uncountable words, they are only singular. And there is no singular words or plural words. It's only one word, flour, sugar, rice, water, butter. I cannot say one butter, two butter, three butter. It's a big piece of butter. It's a big piece of butter and I cannot count it. Okay. With countable words, I can, I can use a or an and I can put as a plural with the singular words and as plural with more than one. But with uncountable words, I cannot put a or an because I cannot count them. With both countable and uncountable, both of them, we can use some and any. I have some flour and I have some apples too. I don't have any, any uh, milk. I don't have any milk. I don't have any water. And also I can say I don't have any cucumbers. I don't have any mangoes. So the countable and uncountable words, we can use with them some and any. Countable, I can count, I can give it a number. There is singular and the plural form from it. But the uncountable, I cannot give it a number, I cannot count it. And there is no singular and the plural form. I cannot use a plural or a and an. Okay? But both of them, I can use some and any. I have some apples, I have some butter, I have some rice, I have some cucumbers. And I don't have any cucumbers, I don't have any butter, I don't have any milk. Next slide. Exercise number one. Here we have, we are going to, to talk about healthy eating. Exercise number one, look short and dried. We have different kinds of food and we are going to say what is healthy and what is unhealthy. Healthy means it's good for us, good for our body. It's very necessary for our body to grow up. But unhealthy means it's bad for us. It's not good, not, not very good for our body to grow up and it may make us fat, may make us only fat. We have potatoes, we have carrots, we have cake, we have bread, we have candy, we have chicken, watermelon, mango, oil and water. Now, Healthy food. In the healthy food, what are we going to write the first thing? It will be carrots. Carrots. Write carrots at healthy food. Bota what about the potatoes? Potatoes healthy? No, too much potatoes will make us fat. So potatoes, unhealthy food. Unhealthy food. Then we have carrots, healthy food. Then we have the third picture, cake. Do you think that cake is a healthy food? It's full of sugar and sugar is not healthy for our body. So cake is unhealthy food. Let's see, bread. Is bread healthy food? Yes. So we are going to write bread at the healthy food. What about candies, which is full of sugar, too much sugar? Is it good for us? No, too much sugar is very bad for our bodies and it's very bad for our health. So candy is going to be unhealthy food. What about chicken? Is chicken healthy or unhealthy food? Is the chicken good for our body? Yes, we need because it contains protein and protein is very important for our body. So chicken is healthy food. What about watermelon? Watermelon is a kind of fruit and vegetables and fruits are healthy food. So watermelon is going to be healthy food. 
What about mango? Mango is a healthy fruit, so it will be a healthy food. What about oil? Too much oil in the food will be very bad. It will make us very fat and it will be unhealthy for our bodies. So oil is unhealthy food. And the last one is water. Water. Water is very healthy for our body. We must drink too much water every day. Our body contains 75% water, so we need water for our body. Potatoes is also healthy food when we eat a little bit from it, not too much potatoes. Exercise number two, what healthy food do you like? What healthy food do you, do you, my dear students, like? I like, write any of the food that you like. I like potatoes, I like carrots, I like mango, I like chicken, I like uh, bread, I like watermelon, so you can write anything that you like. Thank you for listening to me at, that, at this lesson. See you next.